A very warm welcome. You're watching the news with me, Anubhuti Gaur. Let's take a look at what's making headlines. Braving cold weather, hundreds of people gathered outside Jama Masjid in Old Delhi to protest against the amended citizenship law. Congress leader Alka Lamba and former Delhi MLA Shoik Iqbal were also among those who joined the demonstrators. People staged a protest in Jor Bagh also today, demanding the release of Bhim Army Chief Chandrasekhar Azad. Meanwhile, entry and exit gates of Lok Kalyan Metro Station are closed. Trains will not be halting at this particular station. Even today, protests were staged in different parts of the country against the Amended Citizenship Act. People staged protests in Ajmer and Rajasthan against the controversial law. While the internet in 21 districts of Uttar Pradesh has been suspended till Friday midnight as a preventive measure in view of the possible protests against the Citizenship Amendment Act. According to the official figures, 879 people have been arrested in connection with the violence while 5,000 have been detained across UP. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi slams Modi government says whether it's NRC or NPI, it's a tax on the poor, just like demonetization was a tax on the poor. It is an attack on the poor people. Now the poor people are asking, how will we get jobs? We also add it that PM Modi has no idea of the situation in the country. He has failed to fulfill his duty as the PM and the rate of unemployment is on the rise. Union Home Minister Amit Shah slams Congress over the protest over the controversial Citizenship Act says Congress is spreading rumours that CAA will take away the citizenship of minorities. It has no such provision to snatch anyone's citizenship. Amit Shah also said he wanted to ask the minorities, especially Muslims, to look into the CAA, which was now available on the government website. Union Minister V.K. Singh comes out in defence of Army Chief Bipin Rawat over his controversial statement on the Citizenship Amendment Act protest. V.K. Singh said he doesn't see any politics in Army Chief's comments and said that media must explore the context in which he made those comments. Remember, Bipin Rawat had said leaders are not those who lead the people in inappropriate direction. We are witnessing in large number of universities and colleges that students are leading masses and crowds to carry out arson and violence in the cities and towns. This is not leadership. Union Minister Ram Das Athavale condemns RSSG Mohan Bhagwat's statement that the Sangh regards 130 crore people of India as Hindus, irrespective of their religion and culture. He said it is not right to say that all Indians are Hindus. There was a time when everyone was a Buddhist in this country. If Mohan Bhagwat means everyone is an Indian, then it is good. In our country, people are from Buddhist, Sikh, Hindu, Christian, Parsi, Jain, Lingayat faiths and different communities live here. The mobile internet services have been restored in Kargil after 145 days of restriction in JNK and Ladakh. Services were snapped after following the centre's decision to scrap Article 370 and bifurcate the state into two union territories. Services in Kargil were restored after the complete normalcy report had returned to the region. However, the mobile internet remains suspended in Kashmir Valley. A massive locust invasion has destroyed thousands of hectares of crops in Gujarat, with some experts on Friday terming it the worst such attack in 25 years. While officials have attempted to tackle the swarm with pesticides, farmers have deployed drums to drive away the insects with videos showing schoolgirls banging on steel plates. The invasion has damaged crops in half a dozen districts in the state. More than 5,000 hectares have been devastated in one district alone. Banned Pakistani spinner Danish Kaneria has sought help from Prime Minister Imran Khan, writing to him that life is not in good shape. Kaneria was found guilty of spot fixing, and the cricketer says he approached many individuals in Pakistan to resolve his issues, but he was allegedly discriminated against. In fact, Shoik Aptar also backed Kaneria and said his teammates mistreated the cricketer as he was Hindu. A portion of Dal Lake in Srinagar freezes as Kashmir records season's coldest night. Srinagar recorded the coldest night of the season with temperature dropping down to minus 5.6 degrees, while Pehelgam recorded a night temperature of minus 12 degrees. The water taps have been frozen in many places, causing a lot of inconvenience to the people. The Meteorological Department has forecast similar weather conditions to prevail over the next one week. That's all in this bulletin. Thanks for watching. The news and updates will continue on the other side.